We're going to go to space now. Boeing Starliner safely docking at the International Space Station after some tense moments, not knowing if they'd be able to do it. But you can see right there, two retired Navy captains turned astronauts floating right into the space station to high fives and some hugs. Take a look. <laughs> We have confirmation of contact and capture. Butch and Sonny have made their arrival. The first Starliner crew making it to the International Space Station, but getting there was no easy task. Hold, hold, hold. After two launches were scrubbed, the test flight taking off, only to encounter a problem right before docking with their reaction control thrusters. We're still assessing the other two jets. The crew waving off the first docking attempt, but after some troubleshooting, finally, that hatch opening. The two astronauts greeted with hugs and high fives. I'm not sure we could have gotten a better welcome. I just want to say a big thanks to family and friends who've lived this <laughs> for a long time. Mission managers now trying to figure out what caused the Starliner's problems, the helium leaks and those complicated reaction control thrusters, which had to be jump-started a couple of times. We just have to go take our time to work through it and figure out how we can make the system leak tight on the ground. The crew of two putting the spaceship through its paces in what'll be an eight-day test mission before they return to Earth. Their return flight will end with parachutes and airbags helping Starliner land softly in the desert southwest. And in that tense situation, Starliner really showed off here because it was designed with a unique manual tool setting there uh, that gives astronauts on board just so much control. In fact, if they got stuck in space, they really could just spin Starliner around so that it could use the sun to keep charging it up. So it's pretty amazing. This. It sure is. Yeah. Okay, Gio, thanks very much.